Hi, boys and girls, welcome back. This week, we are talking about story elements. Story elements are the parts of the story. Today, we're going to focus on characters and setting. Characters are the people in the story. They are the ones that have talking parts. They speak to one another. Sometimes, characters will be humans like you and I, like this little girl. Sometimes they may be animals, like in The Three Little Pigs. Sometimes they could be objects in a forest, like a leaf or a seed. They may be a robot. Setting is where the story takes place. It could be outside or in a house, at a school, in a jungle. The setting is always where the story takes place. As we read the story, Little Boo, today, I want you to be thinking about who has a speaking part, because that tells us that it is a character. And where is this story taking place? Setting. I hope that you enjoyed this sweet story about a little seed. The wind blew, the leaves fell, and a tiny seed hid in the garden. The seed said to a leaf rolling by. You're not scary at all, said the leaf. Boo, the seed said to a grub. I'm busy, said the grub. Snowflakes began to whirl about. Boo, boo. Boo, the seed said. There's more of us than you, whispered the snowflakes. We're not scared. Poor seed. It's not time for scaring, said the wind. Be patient. You'll be scary soon. I want to be scary now, the seed said. Just wait, whispered the wind, blowing soil over the seed to keep him from the cold. The seed sighed and fell asleep. Boo, he said in his dream. Do you see the seed? It was a long sleep, and when the seed finally awoke, the air was warm. He reached up and up until he could feel it. Ah, said the seed, time to get back to scaring. The seed grew into a tender little sprout. Boo, said the little sprout to an old boot. Boo, said the sprout to a shovel. Boo, said the sprout to a watering can, but none of them said anything back. So the little sprout kept growing. When the wind came by, the sprout had become a little plant. Boo, he said. Not today, said the wind, but soon, soon. The little plant kept growing. Boo, 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 he said to the bucket and the bees and the grasshopper, but they were not afraid at all. The plant grew and grew. Soon, the little orange flowers appeared. Can I boo now? The plant asked the wind. Not quite yet, the wind said. The flowers grew into fruit and one became very big and orange and turned into a pumpkin. Boo, the pumpkin said to the hands that picked it. But they weren't scared. They brought the pumpkin inside the house. I'll be right here, the wind said. Darkness crept in. There was no moon. Then a single candle appeared. Boo, said the pumpkin. That was now a jack-o'-lantern. Yow, said the cat. Good scaring, said the wind. Boo, said the 
said the jack-o'-lantern. Ah, screamed the goblins. Wowee, said the wind. What wonderful scaring. Thank you, said the jack-o'-lantern, who used to be only a seed. Boo, boo, boo. And the light from the jack-o'-lantern's grin spread across the night. Okay, boys and girls, let's think about who the, some of the characters were in the story. Remember, characters are the ones that have speaking parts. They talk in the story. Let's just go through a couple pages in the book to remind us. Look at this very first page, Leaf and Seed. They were talking to each other. Do you remember when Seed said, boo, and the leaf said, I'm not scared of you. Those are speaking parts. That makes these two things characters. We also had the grub. We had snowflakes that spoke in the story. And here was a big character, the wind. The wind talked to the seed all throughout the story. Those are characters. Now, do you remember where the story take, took place? Remember, that's the setting. If you go back to that very first page, it says that the wind blew, the leaves fell, and a tiny seed hid in the garden. So this story took place in a garden. That's right. I hope that you enjoyed the story, and we'll talk more tomorrow about story elements. See you later.